What's up today guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be covering that Super Dragon Rocket Loon Army composition again. You guys asked for a couple bit more replays on this. So we're going to show you guys three more triples in Legends League and another triple in War. Obviously the two most important siege machines in this army composition is the blimp and that flame flinger. We could use that flame flinger to pick off the corner town hall bases with that trick that we showed you guys and pick up some huge value and that allows the super dragons just to sweep through the rest of this base with ease. If you guys like today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel, turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll get right into the action. Alright guys, here is that army composition again for you guys. Six super dragons, five rocket balloons, one baby dragon, two regular balloons, five total free spells, three total rage spells, one invisibility, one poison, and that one earthquake we're using for the flame flinger trick. And then obviously we got nine balloons in the CC. You obviously can use a dragon rider with four balloons if you are comfortable enough with the war base that you are scouting. Alright guys, on this first base, we have this diamond style uh, corner town hall base. And we're going to use these rocket balloons just to pick up a little bit of pathing down here for our flame flinger. That way we can use this flame flinger to take off the town hall. Um, that's obviously the goal with this uh, siege machine. So we're going to use it down here uh, to take out the town hall. And then we're going to be able to push with the other part of the army on the other side of the uh, map. Unfortunately, we had to use all of our balloons and rocket lens just to get this funnel set up and get some of these defenses damaged. But we do have both of those air defense down there one shot at this point. Uh, so that's actually gonna be very beneficial to us later on in the attack. So we start up here, the king and the queen about two o'clock, the baby dragon up towards 12 and then the main army around 1 o'clock right down the middle and then we're also going to use the royal champion with that baby dragon just as extra support we do kind of put her in harm's way though uh, near that barbarian king compartment uh, don't normally do that but I just wanted to make sure we got these super dragons funneled down towards the middle part of this base that way uh, we could pick up as much value as we possibly can with them you can see the flame flinger took out that town hall for us so and I have to, to worry about that poison at all. And we still have a freeze and a invisibility spell uh, for the rest of this attack. It, Flame Flicker also took out that extra air defense down there. So we're not had to get a, gonna have to worry about that at all as well. And that's just huge uh, for these super dragons. I have to deal with a uh, air defense. Um, we do still have our queen here and we have her ability. So that's huge going on. Uh, going toward the late later part of these attacks, you know, with only 20% left. If we still have the queen alive, still have her ability, uh, it can help us pick up some huge value here. And it helps us get close to picking up this multi-target infernal. Uh, she does have the, oh, she does pick it up because the uh, flame flingers actual uh, flames destroyed the skeleton trap for us, which was huge. And that's just gonna result in us getting a triple. Flame flinger almost lived through the entire attack here, um, but we do find a skeleton spell at 99% which popped the flame flinger, but it, we triple the base uh, so quick that the flame flinger is still like fully intact. We don't have to use the balloons at all. All right, on this next base, we have this uh, box style teaser base. Uh, this is definitely another one that's very interesting. Uh, so I'm gonna use these rocket balloons down here to pick off some of these buildings. Uh, that way we could just have a real easy path uh, for our flame flinger. I'm gonna pull the super minions out that way I don't have to worry about them. Always make sure you do that uh, before you drop down your siege machine because you, you don't want the super minions to just one shot your flame flinger. That would be extremely devastating. So we're gonna use that earthquake, get that uh, town hall activated and to drop this flame flinger down. We do end up getting targeted by that expo unfortunately. So I get my royal champion going because I'm gonna freeze down this expo a couple times and then that ground expo is actually gonna target my royal champion here. Uh, which will be huge. That way my Flame Flinger can live. And the Flame Flingers will be able to take down the Town Hall here. As our Super Dragons work towards the back half of this attack. We did already lose our Queen, I believe. We And 
Silver Barbarian King still got the Royal Champion with her ability. Going to use this invisibility spell perfectly on this single target Inferno to make sure we preserve her uh, ability because we're going to need it on the later part of this attack, especially for that scattershot compartment. Um, so as soon as we take down this air defense, we're going to use that ability. That way we can pick up the most value possible. We end up one-shotting that scattershot because it was already weak. And then we got a couple of these buildings down to one shot as well. And we got one Super Dragon and the Flame Flinger here. So we're going to be able to easily finish this off. The Super Dragon has some health left. And two of these defenses were one shot. And we can finish off this uh, Archer Tower. I'm just going to go ahead and manually pop the Flame Flinger. That way we can pick up this Gold Storage. And we don't have to waste too much more time. Um, I have on these style bases attacked. I sent the blimp just directly in on the Town Hall. It, depending on where the sweepers are. But... Um, this is still a, a successful way to attack these bases. You just have to make sure you angle the flame flinger and then try to look for ground expos. I didn't really look for it on this one, so that was my mistake, but I was able to freeze it down because I bring five freezes in this army composition and get the royal champion out in front of the flame flinger. That way, I didn't have to worry about it going down. All right, on this third legends hit, uh, I don't really know how to describe this base. It's a box style base, definitely one that I haven't seen very often. Uh, so definitely an interesting base here, but we were able to use these rocket balloons to push in and pick up uh, a little bit of value. End up not getting the air defense, which I really wanted to get, um, so that was kind of frustrating. But our flame flinger would be able to get that down for us. But definitely got we got one single, one backside single near the town hall. Two multi-target infernos. This multi is in a big dead zone with the sweeper, uh, so that's something I noticed and. We got the scattershot compartments with the big heroes, the royal champion, and the archer queen. But uh, we're going to be able to get this flame flinger targeted on the town hall pretty quickly after we get down that air defense. So at this point, town hall is going to go down very quickly. I use an early ward ability because we don't have to worry about getting the blimp to the town hall. So we're going to be able to protect all of these super dragons as we go through the initial push. Um, into the base and double freeze down on the multis just to keep our health topped off and We're gonna take down these multis pretty quickly and we got another freeze on that single target inferno as well And the scatter shot that's one of the reasons why I like bringing the five freezes because once we get the dragons pushed into the base We could keep a lot of stuff just frozen down We're not to worry about it and then we obviously had the invisibility spell as a uh, last you know worst case scenario we can use that uh, to help protect us from some things as well. Um, a lot of our troops in the middle of the base got torched by that single target Inferno because we had, I believe, like a skeleton trap distracting us. Uh, so a little frustrating there, but our Flame Flinger is going to do the job for us and come back up and retarget the single and take it out. And then we're going to use our Queen ability to get through some of these defenses and we're going to be able to easily, easily finish off this base. Still got a couple Super Dragons alive. Still got the Flame Flinger and the Queen. So this base was just absolutely crushed. Interesting style base, but uh, these style bases, these box ones, don't stand a chance against Hydra uh, or against dragon, Super Dragons. And then especially with the Flame Flinger trick that we've been using, it's just uh, it's unmatched. It's it's an easy triple. All right, on this final replay, we have this War replay. We're gonna show you. I'm gonna start right away down at six, just getting my funneling going. For my Flame Flinger, use these two balloons, the Rocket Loons, to take out some of these defenses. This was probably the most value we picked up out of all of the attacks when it comes to just preparing for the Flame Flinger. I do see the enemy CC, so I'm going to go ahead and pull these troops up to the 12 o'clock area with my King and Queen because I do not want them to target the Flame Flinger. Obviously, if you see these CC troops get pulled, definitely pull them up uh, with your main army. Just get your main army going. And then we could always come back to the Flame Flinger because the Flame Flinger is still going to be able to take out this Town Hall uh, before your troops get that close to the Town Hall. Just with the uh, the effect from the Flame is doing a bunch of damage. So it actually, I, I want to see how many shots it actually takes. We did Earthquake it, so we got one going on. We're going to count how many shots it actually takes to take down the Town Hall while there's two builders building it back up. Because uh, I'm actually just curious at this point. Uh, that was two. But I know the flames are constantly going. Uh, three shots on that. and But you can see how devastating this army is when you don't have to really worry about the town hall. Um, I believe that was the fourth one. Might have been the fifth one. 
Um, and the RC ability just hit it. So we're not going to get a real accurate number. But I believe it's six or seven shots by the Flame Flinger. And we will take that out. Uh, take the Town Hall out with the burning effect. So if you had to start the, the Flame Flinger process a little after you get the main army going, it's not the end of the world. We will still be able to get triples um, on these bases. And you can see just how valuable the Flame Flinger is towards the end of this attack because... We, we lost a lot of our troops. We still have a Super Dragon, still have the Warden, but everything else is already gone. So now we're going to have the Nine Loons pop, and the Nine Loons are going to jump up here, finish off the last two defenses, and then we're going to easily just finish off this base. So the Flame Flinger releasing those CC troops at the end of the attack when there's 90% of the base is already gone, uh, that's the craziest part about it because... Uh, if you do, you know, have a Dragon Rider in here, which I could have, I should have brought a Dragon Rider on this base. If I'd had a Dragon Rider, it would have made it even easier because it was a multi-target Inferno. Uh, so having those CC troops pop, you know, while you're 80 to 90 percent through the base already, uh, you're going to easily, easily finish off these bases and get those triples. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. As always, appreciate you guys stopping in on everyday basis and supporting the channel. Had another sweet video for you guys today showing you guys this Super Dragon spam with the rocket balloons, with that Flame Flinger trick. It's just absolutely crazy. Obviously, if you guys have a ring base anti-2, that's why we bring the blimp. That way, you could still fight for that triple, but also get a high percentage two-star, if anything. If you guys missed yesterday's video, we posted an easy guide to complete the Snow Day Challenge that's currently in the Events tab on Clash of Clans. If you guys liked today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll catch you next time.